All right, it's going to do reflections first, which is, that's the first handout I gave you. Should have the triangles that are uh, it says reflection there in the second box. Uh, is where we're going to start. So, uh, talking about transformations. So, transformations in general uh, is the unit we're doing here. And a transformation is an operation that maps an original figure that's called the pre image. So, original figure is called the pre image into a new figure that we call the image. Pre image is the original, image is the, uh, I guess, more or less answer uh, to that. Um, a transformation can change the size, position, or orientation of a figure. Okay. <clears throat> so orientation, uh, position, and size. So uh, we'll do uh, those, uh, all of those. Mm -hmm throughout this uh, the next four days of uh, or four school days anyway all right so uh next box talking about reflections is the first, first we'll talk about a flip over a line called the line of reflection so creative with that name isn't it? So a line of reflection. So uh, each point and its image are the same distance from the line of reflection. So when you reflect across a line, you know, if you're this far away, you know, that far away, then when you flip across that line, you're going to be the same distance away on the other side. Okay, so it's like putting a mirror there uh, is what's going on there. Uh, <clears throat> possible lines of reflection that we're going to deal with, uh, the axes, x-axis, the y-axis, uh, those are ones that are, are fairly common. Uh, we actually uh, deal with some uh, reflection uh, or lines of symmetry with uh, those as well in college algebra and stuff. We talked about that in my college algebra class today, so that comes back up later on. Uh, vertical or horizontal lines. Uh, what's the equation of a vertical line? You may remember from algebra. No. Okay, so a vertical uh, line is going to be x equals some number, and a horizontal line would be y equals a number. Vertical lines are x equals a number. And uh, horizontal lines are uh, y equals a number. So we could uh, reflect across a certain line, not just the x axis or y axis. Uh, and then we could do some diagonal lines. We're going to use uh, like y equals x and y equals negative x. Those are the two diagonal lines that we're going to reflect across uh, in our unit. I'm not getting into a lot of algebra with this, just. Uh, just doing some reflection of points out of that. So really uh, not a, a horrible thing here. It's actually pretty easy. So <laughs> look at number one. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to graph and label each figure and its image under the given reflection uh, and give the new coordinates of that uh, the image. Okay, so we're going to graph the pre-image and the image with this. So um, the first one says triangle ABC. So A, B, and C are the vertices of the triangle. And uh, A is at negative 4, 2. So I'm going to, on my coordinate plane, I'm going to graph triangle A, B, C. Uh, and so I'm going to go to negative 4, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. And that's going to be point A. And then I'm going to B is 4, 7. That's point B, so I'm labeling those vertices. And then point C is at 5, 1. And then I'm going to draw that triangle. So I'm going to connect those. So the straight edge is the reason for that. B 
be very try to be very precise when you're doing your your vertices your points because you need to be able to go so we'll go to the image so this is our pre-image the uh, <coughs> reflection is across the x-axis so we're reflecting across that line that's the x-axis that's what they ask us to reflect across okay so if we reflect that across look how far we'll start with point c because that's the closest one to that line it doesn't matter what point you start with but how far is point c from the blue line one block right so to reflect it across that line we're going to go one block below it right and put put the new image the image point and that point is called C prime. They just put a little apostrophe on there. Uh, but the terminology is C prime is what you usually say. And this is the uh, point for that image. So the red one is the pre-image and the blue one is going to be the image. Uh, and then point A, one, two points above that blue line. So we're going to go two points below it. Not changing the X value at all, just changing the Y value. And that'll be A prime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there is B prime. And we draw that triangle. So you get a beautiful reflected triangle there. So when we reflect across the X axis, what what are the ordered pairs for that? So yeah, negative 4, negative 2, 4, negative 7, and 5, negative 1. So what changes on the ordered pairs when you reflect across the x-axis? The y value swap signs. That's all that happens there. A really, really simple idea. Okay. Number 2. We have a rectangle, PQRS, and they give us the vertices for that. And they want us to reflect it across the y-axis. So let's draw the pre-image. So one, two. Two, five. And then, <coughs> excuse me, eight, three. And then uh, the last one is at seven zero. There's P Q R and S. And just draw that rectangle. And then if we're reflecting across the y-axis, so one across that y-axis, that's our reflection line. Uh, what's another equation? What's the equation of the y-axis? Just may know it's the equation of the line that lies right on top of the y-axis. X equals zero. Um, is same thing. So, uh, so it's reflect. If we reflect across the y-axis, what's going to change with their ordered pairs? All the x's are going to change signs. So p prime will it be at negative one two? Q prime will be at negative two five. And then R prime will be at negative eight three. And then S prime will be at negative seven zero. And we draw, and I just miscount, I missed up on my R prime. There we go. Draw that beautiful little rectangle.
reflecting across that line. Nice and easy out of that. Questions about reflecting across the x-axis or the y-axis. Three and four are the same, same idea. The only difference is the shapes. A trapezoid, what shape is a trapezoid? Not quite. In general, trapezoids look like that. So it's like a triangle used with the top part of it sliced off. I guess maybe that's what Tilly was trying to do. Is that what you meant, Tilly? Yeah, yeah I figured. So trapezoids look like that. So when you draw that, your pictures should look like trapezoids. Okay. Uh, number four is a rhombus, which you may or may not know what a rhombus is. Anybody know what a rhombus is? Kinda, yeah. Uh, describe a rhombus to me. Like what? Are, what really is a rhombus? What makes it a rhombus other than a square? It's it's a square. It what? So it. The idea of just taking one hand instead of square. What do we know about squares? All the sides are the same, right? And a rhombus is just taking that square and it's making it lean. It got hit by us, is what she said. So it leans to the side or something like that. So the uh, the sides are all still the same length. So rhombus, uh, it, it's not just imperative that you know what a rhombus is in this lesson because they're giving you the vertices. So you're going to see the picture when you draw the free image and the image. Uh, but just uh, talking about those shapes, the more you know about them, the better. Um, number three, mm -hmm. zero, negative six. It would say the same when it flips over the y, right? Because it's on the y. Yeah, so, yeah, because if you change the zero, you change sign. Zero. Yeah, you can't make zero it's negative, so it stays zero. Yeah, that's right. It stays the same. That's a good, good question. Um, and then the rhombus there is reflected across the x-axis, which just negate all the uh, y values out of that. So that's easy. So we won't. We won't go through those. So let's look at number five, uh, and they're going to reflect across a different line. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the line of reflection uh, that we're reflecting across here, just so uh, we know where it's at. So that reflection line is at x equals four. There's four, and we're going to reflect across this line. You can't hardly see that, so I'm going to try to make it thicker. So, so the line we're reflecting across is that one. So uh, that's our reflection line. Uh, we're still going to plot the uh, the pre-image and then the image. So uh, triangle JKL is at at one negative one, and then two three. And then three negative two. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily matter what kind of triangle it is in this right now. And we're reflecting that across the uh, x equals four line. So it doesn't just change the sign of the uh, x values in it, or being the x equals four line. So we got to think about that whole idea is the same distance from the reflection line. So L prime, L is one to the left, so L prime would be one to the right of the, the green line there. So. so L prime is going to be here. I'm going to do that boy. And then J prime is seven negative one. Yeah. Because we're one, two, three blocks away, one, two, three blocks away. Out of that. <coughs> K prime will be where? Yeah, six positive three. Oh, I wrote the order pair there. K prime. 
and then we draw our triangle from that. So there's the image and the pre-image there. So J, y'all said, was at seven, negative one, and then K prime was at uh, six, three, and L prime was at five, negative two. So can we see a what's the uh, is there some sort of relationship between the original ordered pairs uh, and our reflection line there? Maybe I don't know. Y's all stay the same. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, what about our X's? What is there a pattern that happens with those? Okay. So. <clears throat> if you'll, you're going to all with what we're doing, you're always going to draw the pre image and then do the reflection of the image. So, what Haley said works, but also just keep in mind if I can just count blocks, that works. Don't overcomplicate it too much. Don't be, you know, just overly crazy about this. Um, but you know, just reflecting across a certain line. Um, Number six is another reflection, but it's across uh, x equals negative one. I think we get the idea of reflecting across uh, an x equals a number line. Let's go to number seven and reflect across uh, y equals two. So I'm going to draw my reflection line right there. And then, so I'm um, plotting the uh, the pre-image, negative four, negative four, C, uh, negative two, zero, and six, one. And then four. Negative three. And he was a six point. Parallelogram, or as Miss Ross, Miss Ross says it this way, parallelogram. I like, I like the good strong name, parallelogram. She says parallelogram. Uh, there's our pre-image. Uh, if we're going to reflect it across the the line, uh, y equals two. What stays the same? The x's. So I'm just going to go down through here. Negative four. Negative two. Six and four. <laughs> and then E prime is the easy one there. So that's at uh, one. So it's going to be up at three. F prime would be at one, two, three, six, seven. And I wrote the the E on the wrong one. And then B prime is two. So that's at four. And then <coughs> C prime is one, two, three. Six below, six. Eight. 
All right, and then you, you draw your picture. What's it mean to be a parallelogram? You ever talked about parallelograms before? You, yeah, four sides is right. But what about those four sides? Two pairs. Yeah, two sets of parallel lines. That's what a parallel is. So general information. Uh, again, it doesn't matter if you know that or not because you're getting the ordered pairs. You're going to see the picture. But the more you hear about these shapes, the the better off you're going to be there. So. Uh, not very difficult to do here. This is this is fairly easy. Um, let's go down to number nine and reflect across a diagonal line. It says uh, y equals x is what I'm reflecting across. So I'm going to draw that reflection line. Try not to get off too much here. Here's the reflection line. Y equals X. A little bit of algebra there, just knowing how to graph Y equals X. And then we're going to plot the image. So X is at negative 5, negative 2. It's okay. We'll get there. And then y is at negative three, four. And z is at negative one, positive one. That's a triangle, so it's got three sides. Doesn't look like yours. If yours crossed that line, Tilly, you did something wrong. I thought it was going to cross, okay. and I just didn't just know. Panicked. I thought the four was negative when I, I was thinking it was negative. It's okay. All right. Now, reflected image uh, is going to reflect across that. It's going to be the same distance away. Uh, so uh, here's here's the what's going on. Let's look at Z. Uh, if you the diagonal distance there, so it's a little tough to just count. But if we count, you know, like up one over one, and then on this direction, we'll go down one over one, it's going to be the same distance diagonally. All right. So that would be here, and that would be Z prime. And that ordered pair is what? One, negative one. Now let's just stop there and look at the relationship between. Z and Z prime. I swap the Y and the X out of that. So the Y equals X line, that's that's what happens here. So uh, X prime is up to over one. Those are down to over one to be there. Uh, you swap the X and Y, so it should be at negative two, negative five. And I should have done that in blue. I'd, be consistent here and I screwed it up. So Z prime. Here's X prime. I miscount, miscounted there. Negative two, negative five. One, two, three, four. Okay. X prime. Y prime. Swap X and Y. So it's going to be at four, negative three. So four, negative three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's where I said it's not hard. And none of this is difficult stuff, but it's attention to detail and really, really, you know, you got to be uh, really close attention to your detail there. When you draw your picture, it looks like it. It looks the same, but I don't know how to get it. 
If it's reflecting across y equals x, you're just going to swap x and y. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so that was x and y. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go to number eleven, and let's reflect across y equals negative x. So we got us uh, y equals negative x. That graph, you know, that line that we're reflecting across is this one. That's our reflection line right here. So the image a b square a b c d uh, so vertices at negative one three and zero six three five good. It only said square in the problem. Imagine that. And I think that's what happened on the test yesterday. Some of you didn't read. You looked at the picture and assumed something uh, was what you were doing, and you ended up doing the wrong thing. Still got two folks that got to take it, so y'all let me know what y'all going to do. Y'all going? Y'all coming today? You taking it today? Next one? Okay, good, perfect. That way I can get them back to you tomorrow. All right, uh, so we got that the pre-image there. Let's get the image. Uh, so <clears throat> A is the one closest to that line, so it should be the easiest one to get uh, A prime for. So I'm going to go right there and get A prime. Same distance away, right? Now look at the ordered pair for that. So A originally was negative 1, 3. Okay, so what did that do to the original ordered pair? Swapped X and Y, and then did what to X? And, and Y, change their signs. So swap X and Y and change your signs. So B is going to be at negative 6, 0, because 0 doesn't change signs, or B prime is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then C prime, uh, swap that and change your sign. So that'd be negative five, negative three. Let's. One, two, three. Maybe I miscounted. Negative six is on the X, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. There's B prime. Sorry. And then, oh, this was C prime. And D prime, that's easy. They get the same number. So negative two, negative two. Swap X and all right. So Y equals negative X is going to swap X and Y and change signs. How do you put swag instead of swap? Just put some swag in it. That's right. All right. So Y equals X just swaps X and Y. You just, it's an inverse. And then uh, the negative X swap it and then change their signs. Swap and change signs. And that's how you reflect across those lines. Okay? Nothing too too strenuous about this. This is pretty easy stuff. All right. Get the next one out, the translations. <coughs> All 
<clears throat> a translation is uh, to vertically or horizontally slide a figure. Okay, so you're taking, it's a shift from one, you know, you take a picture and move it to the right, move it to the left, move it up or move it down. Okay, so a translation is a shift or a slide. Uh, symbolic form, so there's a notation that goes with this. And they use this big arrow, and then they'll say X plus H, Y plus K. H is the horizontal shift. And K is the vertical shift. I remember from Algebra 2 when we were shifting the, the or the vertex form of quadratics or Algebra 1, you talk about vertex form of quadratics too. Uh, and remember the formula for that was y equals a x minus h. Does that look familiar? Oh, yeah. Remember doing that? Maybe not, if you haven't had Algebra 2 yet, you're not as familiar with it. Probably seen something like that before in Alpha 1, but it wasn't uh, something so slight. Well, Alpha 2, we focus on that a lot. This idea is that you're shifting the graph vertically or horizontally, and they're going to tell you how much. Look what it does to the ordered pair. So let's look at number one. Really easy thing. Rectangle uh, QRST uh, with these vertices is shifted using this symbolic form. So X's are going to shift plus five, y's are going to shift plus seven. Okay, so we're going to draw the image. So negative six, one. Negative six, negative one, that's at Q. And then R is at negative three, positive one. Uh, S is at one, negative five. And T is at negative 2, negative 7. So there's our a rectangle for our pre-image. The image is taking though that ordered pair for each vertice and applying the translation that it says. So x plus 5 for q, what is negative 6 plus 5? Okay, for the y value, what's negative 1 plus 7? There's our new ordered pair. So negative 1, 6. And then R, you do the same thing. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Uh, 1 plus 7 is 8. 2, 8 is R prime. S prime, 1 plus 5 is 6. Negative 5 plus 7 is 2. T, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, negative 7 plus 7 is 0. I think translations is the easiest one. Okay. You just do the math. There's nothing else to it, really, on that part. Do the math and go from there, okay? Now, look over there to the uh, to the back of that page. Let's go to number nine. We're actually doing, or, no, excuse me, let's go to uh, number seven. Uh, where we're, go, they give us the pictures. 
and we've got to write the rules. So this is where it's a little tougher, but it's, it's still not hard. Uh, so they give you the image, the pre-image and the image, and you've got to uh, find out what they did. So you need to order pairs uh, to do that. So let's uh, let's just take the first uh, ordered pair in that triangle, uh, ordered pair for uh, point D. What is uh, that ordered pair? Negative three, positive three. D prime. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how did they get from negative three to positive four? They added seven. So the rule would be x plus seven. And then what's the rule for y? Y plus four. Does that work for E? So the point E is at zero two. If we apply that rule, then that should be at seven, six. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's that, that applying the rule E prime is in the right spot, so that's got to be the rule. It is that easy. Don't overthink this, guys. This is a really easy unit. All right. Now let's go to number nine. So this one, we're combining the two uh, little units here. We're going to do a reflection and then a translation. Uh, and we're going to do it in the order that they're listed uh, in the problem there. So uh, part A says reflect on the x-axis. And then part B says then translate it using this rule. Okay, so what does reflecting, so this goes back to uh, what did we discover about the ordered pairs when you reflect across the x-axis? So, the y's are going to change signs. Okay, and then so x is at negative 3, negative 7. Once I apply a, the next, the new x will be at negative 3, negative 7. It was at, it's at neg the x value is at negative 3. Reflecting across the x axis changes the y value. The negative. So negative 3, negative 7. And then we apply this rule. What's negative 7 uh, plus 9? Positive 2. Positive 2. So the, the, Im the image will be at negative 3, positive 2. And then for y prime, we're going to be at negative 2. Or, excuse me, the x value is going to stay the same, and then we're going to add 9. Oh, back up. We didn't do the x value. We did the y value. 6 would be the x value. The y value was the negative 5. Because it's 2. Negative 7 plus 2. Sorry, I was doing the x with the y. So... Reflecting across the x-axis changes the y value to negative or opposite. So this would be negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2 plus 9 is going to be 7. Negative 1 plus 2 is going to be 1. The third point, reflecting across the x-axis makes it a negative 5, negative 2. Negative 5 plus 9 would be 4. Negative 2 plus 2 would be 0. Okay. So when you're doing this, the, the original image, you want to graph that. So negative 3, 7. Negative 2, 1. Negative 5. So we've got our first triangle. 
Yeah, that's the original, the pre-image. So we just graphed the, the pre-image there. And then we don't have to graph the one where we've done the reflection of X. The only one we're after is the final product here. If you want to lightly graph the reflection of X so you get the ordered pairs, that's fine. I don't see a need in it because you're just changing the X, uh, the Y values uh, to negative or opposite. So I don't see a need to do that. Uh, so I'm going to graph the image, which would be X prime at 6, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. And Y prime at 7, 1. And Z prime at 4, 0. 1, 2, 4. There we've translated that or transformed that since we did a reflection and a translation together at the same time. Look at number 10. What does reflecting across y equals x do again? No. no. Swap x and y. And then apply the translation rule. Okay, so for q, it's going it, to, the in between step is going to be negative 1, 2, and then negative 1 minus. 3 would be negative 4, and 2 minus 7 would be negative 5. R prime, swap 7 and 1, so it's 1, 7. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 7 uh, minus 7 would be 0. S prime, you're going to swap X and Y for the first, for A part. So that's going to be negative 2, 6. Negative 2 for the X value. Minus 3 would be negative 5. 6 minus 7 would be negative 1. And then T, swap X and Y because the reflection across Y equals X. And that would be negative 4, 1. So negative 4 minus 3 would be negative 7. 1 minus 7 would be negative six. If it's y equals negative x, that's when you change the sign. <clears throat> y equals negative x changes the signs. Uh, y equals x just swaps. Okay, and then you would plot the, the pre-image and then the final image of that. Uh, so two, one, or being skewed, doing two, negative one, Seven one S is six negative two T is one negative four. So there's the pre image, and it should look like a parallelogram because that's what they said it was. And it is. And then Q prime, go and plot that. So negative 4, negative 5, negative 2, 0, negative 5, negative 1, and then T was at, or T prime was at negative 7. Negative six. And again, it still should be a parallelogram. Translated around there. transforming follow the order they're written in so like on number 11 you're going to do the x plus 6 and the y minus 8 before you reflect it across the y-axis okay. <clears throat> so let's just get the ordered pairs for 11 we won't draw it just get the ordered pairs for it
so translation happens first and then reflection in this problem. So L is at negative 2, 7. Uh, with the translation, it will be negative 2 plus 6, which is 4, and 7 minus 8, which is negative 1. And what does reflecting across the y-axis do? Changes the x value sign, which is would make it negative 4, negative 1. And then M prime starts at 2, 3. 2 plus 6 is 8. And then the reflection across the y-axis makes it negative 8. And then 3 minus 8 would be negative 5. And then N prime, uh, be 6, negative 7. Or an N prime would be negative 6, negative 7. And then P uh, would be negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Make that negative. And then uh, 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Yeah. And then you could plot the image and the, the pre image and the image there. Um, <clears throat> Number 12, uh, I think it would be probably one of the easier ways of doing that. Don't overthink it and try to psych yourself out. I would actually plot that in between image with that one to do the distances so I get the other ordered pairs. I don't, don't, you know, you're not going, I'm not going to uh, kill you on that. So, but, you know, just I would plot the in between image after you do the translation. Uh, before I do the reflection uh, for that one to get those final ones. All right. So pretty easy.